This message is for the sign of Scorpio. This month I'm pulling cards from the Archetype deck, which both have a shadow as well as a light attribute. Scorpio, you have the card of the Midas the Miser, with a light attribute reading entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything into gold, delight in sharing life's riches, with a shadow attribute reading hoarding money and emotions, absorb fear of losing your wealth. Adding to this message of the Midas Miser with the tarot cards of the Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. The Five of Wands can be rivalry, disagreement, competition, clashing egos, whereas the Queen of Swords can represent tough love, skepticism, protection, meaningful criticism. Together, they inform us that any conflict or competition needs to be approached with intelligence and strategy. This queen encourages rational and logical thinking, and with this five here, it indicates with the situation that you're facing that this is necessary. This can also indicate an, an, an internal conflict as well, where your mind and your emotions are at war with each other. The Five of Wands represents an inner warrior with the razor-sharp mind of the queen. You are capable of naviga navigating through difficult situations, Scorpio. The Death card represents the sign of Scorpio. It is where your power lies. And this card represents evolution and metamorphosis, like the butterfly and the phoenix rising. It's a huge upheaval from one way of life to start another. And with them, these cards coming out with the Midas and Miser Oracle, this month, Scorpio, keep in mind if you are hanging on to old, an old belief system, a specific angle of perception, that deep root from a past experience, and check what underlying value system you're, you're basing everyday decisions upon. Understand that the subtle differences between gratification and nourishment. Like that King Midas, he was inherently fearful of what he could not see, touch, or understand. And he is, was afraid of losing himself and believes he must remain separate to be free. So be cautious of that, um, Scorpio, where you're not trusting other people, you're being isolated and um, hoarding some of your material things, as well as your emotions as well. Pay close attention that if there is some kind of conflicts or challenge in your life that you aren't resisting it, which is causing you to block more of your abundance or your happiness or your peace or even connections with others. Even though change can be scary and uh, very difficult, it's inevitable. Ch things always change and that's how we grow and move forward. So just be cautious if you are trying to resist or block that and kind of be more open and going with the flow because there's a major transformation here and it will be at your best benefit if you go with the flow instead of resist.